Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube. It's time to talk trash. This will be the skincare and makeup empties. As you know, I'm now dividing them up into different categories. And I've got everything laid out on my vanity beside me. So I'm hoping I'm not going to have an avalanche. Usually, Mama Denise puts little boxes for me to put stuff in. But I'm doing what I can today. So maybe I'll just try to be as careful as possible as I pick things up and hope I don't have an accident. I'm going to start with my lashes. You might be wondering why I have lashes in lockdown, but I have been booked solid. So even though I've been here in my room, my face has been being transported out. So I have been wearing quite a few lashes. Uh, these were for a comedy sketch. They're actually Halloween lashes. They had big long feathers on them and I used it for a hubcap comedy festival. These are my Quill 804s, which as you know are my favorite lashes, what I'm wearing today. Got to send Denise to Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm actually low on these. These are my red cherry eyelashes. I also love those. They're kind of big and fluttery. And these were nice. Uh, this is LA Colors Dramata Lash. <clears throat> this is from my makeup artist, uh, Truth Wilson, who did my makeup for a sh two shoots that I've done recently. And she gave me the container and so that I could keep the lashes and reuse them when I was done. I am getting rid of this beauty blender. This was one of the red ones. I keep them for about three or four months and then and I wash them every single time I use them and then I let them go and I try all the time many other different kinds nothing stands next to the beauty blender in fact I'm trying one of these bleaky blenders from Amazon and uh, when you wet this it gets the size of my head it gets very big but after one use I already had a little like microscopic little tear in the rubber these never tear also came to the end of a paint pot by Mac this one is in the color painterly. It's completely empty, so there's no point in me even... Well, I guess I can show you. It's just completely empty. I love paint pots. I love using them as an eyeshadow base, putting other colors on top of them. Or on days when I'm not really wearing much makeup, I like to just throw on particularly this color because it covers like all the discoloration of my eyelids. As you age, the discoloration comes, and it just makes your eyelids look nice and even-toned. I'm also getting rid of this packaging. This contained four little mini beauty blenders. I will never buy the minis again, but I did buy some of them when they came out. You know, they're supposed to be for using on the smaller parts of your face, but I feel like the narrow end of a beauty blender does the same thing, so uh, I'm getting rid of that. Came to the end of this sample Fenty um, foundation. I love this foundation. In fact, Truth always uses Fenty on me when she does me up for shoots. She uses really dark colors. Uh, because it just makes me look so alive when I'm on television. If I, was, if I needed foundation, I would definitely buy this. This was a really lovely product. This is just a lip balm, but when it comes to lip balms in my purse, I like to keep really nice lip balms. So this one was by Givenchy, and it was just a really long, narrow lip balm, but it was one of those lip balms that kind of change color on your lips. So I call them mood balms, and it just looked beautiful in the purse. The packaging was gorgeous. Another lip balm with great packaging. You know who it is. Pat McGrath with those beautiful lips. And this is just one of her minis, but it was just the clear balm. How many times have I used up a full tube of this? Very unusual in lipstick, but I'd say this is maybe my third tube that I'm on now. This is Ruby Woo by MAC. Just one of those classic reds that I love. I find it, it's so it's such a dramatic red, but it's so easy to wear. And uh, it's been a classic for MAC for many, many years. And I already bought the replacement for this. I love Ruby Woo. You're going to see a lot of mascaras because I have an abundance of little mini mascaras that I get and freebies and stuff. And I just, I've got to use them up because especially where I'm not traveling now, I'm not taking stuff with me on the road. So what I've been doing is really going through a tube a week of these sample mascaras. So I've got two of these um, Laura Mercier ones that were free gifts with Sephora for a while. They're all right. One of these Sephora ones. All right, one of my favorite mascaras. This is a tester of the Full Fat Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. It looks like your average wand, but there's something about this wand I just absolutely love, especially on days when I'm not gonna wear false lashes. I love this mascara. This is an oldie but a goodie. Everybody loves this, it seems. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And it's just a really good 
your best friend kind of mascara. It's not going to make them big and dramatic, but it also doesn't look puny. It's just a really solid everyday mascara. I think this came in a grab bag or something. It's CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro. And I hated the wand and I didn't really like the mascara either. This is Monsieur Big, but in the waterproof. Gloopy and gloppy. I do not like the waterproof formula of this. This confuses me. This is by Too Faced and it's the damn girl mascara. But look, the wand is the same as Better Than Sex and I felt like the mascara was the same as Better Than Sex. So I am not sure what is supposed to be different between this and Better Than Sex other than the name and the packaging. I couldn't find it. And this, you know, I want to love this so bad because it's Tom Ford. It's Tom Ford's Bad Black Lash. And I've tried two testers of it. I don't like it. That wand is too big. I can't get in with my small eyes without getting it on me. And I find it smudges really easy. And I just don't like it, which is so weird because I think it's the only Tom Ford thing I've come across so far that I don't like. Uh, far prefer Marc Jacobs, whatever it is, Velvet Lash, Black Lash. To this. This was a really nice lip balm by Clinique. It's the Pep Start. It's just a clear lip balm. I had it by my bed. This I love. I hope they don't stop making this. This is by Josie Moran and what's it called? I think it's called like Bee Sting. Oh, I need a pair of glasses right there. <clears throat> I've got my trusty assistant Denise right here. What is it called? Work It. And this is just in vanilla flavor. And what it is, it's just a clear balm, but it's got a plumping action and it feels kind of stingy when you put it on. So when I sit down to do my makeup, I put a coat of this on my lips. I let it do its business. The lips start to get a little bit plumpy, the sting. Right before I'm ready to put my lipstick on, I dab this off and I put a lip base on and then my lipstick. And I do that every single time I do my makeup. So I've already got the replacement for this in my bag. Love it. Sephora didn't have it for a while. I was getting panicky, but it's back. Always sad to see the end of a lip gloss, but and particularly a dazzle glass by Mac, but this is getting funky. You know, like I don't, I don't, I'm not crazy about throwing my lip glosses out like religiously, but when they start to smell, this one is dazzle glass in Gone Romancin, which is a color I really love, but it doesn't smell right and it has all separated in the tube. And I'm really sad because I can't find this anymore. And this I love wearing over Up the Amp by MAC and I have a whole look that I wear with that which I lean on a lot in the summer. So I'm really sad to see the end of this. If anybody sees a tube, brand new, I don't buy used lip gloss, but if you see a tube of Gone Romancing by MAC, let me know. What have we got here? This was a fail. This is the Tarte the Brow Architect Brow Shaper. So it's one of these trying to do 20 things at once. So it had like a chisel shaped brow pencil, which I had to go too hard to, sorry, my glasses are kind of filthy. I had to push too hard to get the color on. And even then I just, it wasn't quite the right shade. And then on the other end, there is a spoolie, which that's fine. But then there's also one of these brow highlighters, but the color is way off. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I, I see they don't have it anymore. I'm not surprised because it sucks. I came to the end of one of these brow pencils by Benefit. This is just the uh, sample size. It's not the full size. You know when they do kits and they have a whole bunch of different things in it? Uh, it's the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love it because it has a really fine tip and a good array of colors. Speaking of Better Than Sex, there's the Better Than Sex Mascara. See, it looks the same as the other one. Maybe not as goopy. Oh, sad that this went off. This was when uh, Lily Singh kind of first blew up and Smashbox did this uh, collaboration with her. And it is called, it's the Always On Liquid Lipstick in the color Bows, B-A-W-S-E. And it was just a really beautiful red, but it has completely dried up and hardened up. I don't know if they sell these anymore. These were the little liquid eyeliners that came in the tube. These were a great idea. I don't know why they would have gotten rid of them. There's like a little, even like a little tray here so you could push some out and then get it on your brush in the tray. It painted on beautifully. It was like a gel liner. Um, I got it in this color and in black. I think we'll come across the black one. But I've had it for, 
I've had it for probably five years and it has now dried up. And the reason I kept it that long is unlike the kind of lip, the eyeliners where you dip your brush into the product, this you squeeze some product out and then get it on your brush so you weren't getting your eye boogies in there. So I kept it for quite a while, but now it's dried out. And this was the color of the tube. That was the color of the liner. I loved it. You've seen this a million times. This is the Clinique Lower, lower Brow mascara which i used religiously for probably five or six years on my lower brows i'm trying something new i found a mac mascara with a really really fine brush and i've been using it and what i like about it is this doesn't make your lower lashes very dramatic but the mac one does but just like this it doesn't flake or get on your skin getting rid of my milk makeup kush liquid eyeliner beautiful eyeliner uh, the brush stayed pretty good right to the end, but I've had it for a long time and I don't like to keep liquid liners too long. And an Anastasia brow gel. Gotta love it. I know people don't like it because it's crunchy, but if you are under hot te television lights for a whole day, your brows stay in place. Because as I'm aging, TMI here, my brows are getting long. Like, getting like old man brows. And... Don't tell anybody that's just between you and I. I plucked a gray hair out of my nose last week. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was like growing down. I had a little ceremony. It was not pretty. Used up this Burt's Bees lip balm. This is a colored lip balm and it had a beautiful like pomegranate color. The only thing I don't like about this is why is such big packaging? You know, you can't shove that in your pocket. It takes up a lot of room in a clutch. I just don't think you should put a lot of extra packaging if you don't need to. Vintage lipsticks were so awesome because the case was just marginally bigger than the bullet. It was a little short thing. It wasn't big and fancy. Although it looked fancier, it looked more posh, but it didn't take up a bunch of room. I used this up. This was from Fenty Beauty. And this is their, it came in a trio and they kind of magnetized together. One was the bronzer, one was the highlighter, and this was the blush, and it was a nice kind of corally blush. In the summer, I loved it, but fair warning, if you do not like a highlightery blush, you will not like this. This had a lot of glow in it. I've said before, I think this is a gimmick. This is the only Dior Show mascara that I kind of go, hmm, it's the one with the you know, where you can squeeze the tube and you're supposed to be able to control how much goes on your brush. Not really. And whoever wants less when it comes to mascara, it seems like we're all looking for more. So it's not bad. It's like as lovely as all the other DR show makeups or mascaras. I just don't understand what the gimmick is with the squeeze the tube thing. Cult, cult favorite. Everybody loves it. Boy Brow by Glossier. <coughs> Excuse me. I love it too. I don't tend to wear this on days when I'm doing full makeup. I always like a powder or a pencil. But on days when I'm not wearing much makeup or the no makeup makeup look, I like to put this on my brows. Another Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes mascara. Yeah, there's the black one of that tartiest um, eyeliner. Really good idea. I don't know why they stopped making it. This came in a grab bag I got in New Brunswick somewhere. What is it called? I've never even seen it for sale on the shelf. It's called Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama. Hot pink on the bottom, red on the top. Not dramatic. Doesn't do anything. Of all the Maybelline mascaras, probably the worst one I ever tried. My favorite drugstore mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. Man, if you don't want to spend a fortune on a mascara, this is the one. In terms of drugstore, I, th I would take the Pepsi Cola Challenge this against Great Lash, against any of the other um, mascaras that you can buy lower end at the drugstore. This one is a goodie. This is a nice mascara. This is by Bare Minerals. It's their Lash Domination. It has kind of a like a twisty, turny brush, but it makes them nice and long. And yet another Lights Camera Lashes. Um, mascara sample. Almost to the end of all these mascaras. Came to the end of a sample size of this Benetint. I absolutely love Benetint. I love it on no makeup makeup days. I like to put it on my lips and my cheeks. Looks like you've been out in the cool air. It gives you that natural look. 
Um, if you've been watching me for a long time, you already know this story, but if you haven't, the Ford sisters, who are the founders of Benefit Cosmetics, they were living together in an apartment and above them lived a stripper. And they were kind of messing around in their apartment making homemade concoctions, a little bit of homemade makeup and stuff. And the stripper came down and said to them, I want something that I can rouge my nipples with for when I'm dancing, but it can't run when I sweat because if she used lipstick or liquid blush, when she would sweat, it would either run or it would disappear. And she wanted her nipples to kind of pop, um, but she needed something that would withstand the sweat. And that was the inspiration that caused the gals to come up with Benetint. And it is totally a stain. Like it feels like water. And then once you put it on, and you, you, you got to work quick to blend it, and then it is there. Until you use soap and water, that is not coming off. So, works great for the nipples, works great for the cheeks and lips too. And, as you know, high-end, my favorite mascara of all. Definicils by Lancome. It's not big and clumpy, but it's a good standard standby. Oh, one more. I think this came in the box that Jessica sent me. This is too much packaging. Considering that every piece of plastic that has ever been made is still in existence on the planet, we do not need mascara tubes like this. So first of all, there's this big giant clear plastic lid. Don't need. Then there is this gimmicky big plastic <laughs> lash curler. And here's the problem with that. Look how wide it is. Whose eyelashes are that narrow? Nobody's. Maybe a one month old. So you'd have to go in sections, which, no thank you. All that plastic for nothing. The other thing is, anybody who wants to curl their lashes has a lash curler. We don't need one attached to our mascara because we throw our mascara out every three months. You don't want to throw that out every three months, right? I keep my curlers for basically a long time. So all that to get to a mascara that was meh. So I'm really, I'm really trying to be conscious of companies that are using too much packaging. Some of the candles that I loved, just too much packaging, I don't buy them anymore. If you're wondering about my lipstick color, I don't know the name on it because they didn't put the names on the back of this, but it's this Yves Saint Laurent palette that came out last year. And in it, there's a whole bunch of pinks and it's this pink right here that I'm wearing. I love this palette. Now, Talk about a stack. Look at all this. So I am just going to tell you what they all are. If there's any that I particularly didn't like, I will tell you. Or if there's any that I think are really, really amazing, I'll tell you. Otherwise, they're all acceptable. Here we go. The Bioderma Life Plankton Essence in Mask. Pearl and Red Pearl Barley Mask. The Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Serum Mask, really, really like. The Saturday Skin, what's this one called? Cotton Cloud, really like it, very moisturizing. And it comes with little cloud stickers. I can't get enough of those. <laughs> Denise is laughing at me. It's like I'm six. Uh, <laughs> this is, but I know it about myself. Uh, this is Mexican Aloe Essential Mask by Neogen Dermatology. The Kiehl's Instant Renewal Concentrate Mask, really nice. Laneige Clear Sea Water Pocket Sheet Mask. My Ula Henriksen uh, Power Bright 3-Step Brightening Mask. The Sephora Almond Foot Masks. The Sephora Dragon Fruit Hair Mask. The Dr. Jart Hydra Solution Mask. Another almond foot mask by Sephora. Ooh, Silk Mask. This is called the 23 Years Old Premium Home Care. And it is called a Silky Mask. This was so milky. There was so much serum on it. I loved it. There was so much serum that I squeezed out, after I put the mask on my face, I squeezed out what was left in the bag and it covered my whole chest. And then even when I was done with the mask, 
it was still so saturated I just like rubbed it all over my skin until it kind of felt dried out. Really nice mask. Uh, Sephora aloe vera face mask. The Body Shop Youth Concentrate. Another one of those Biodermas. Lip mask by Sephora. I hate them. Very hard to get them to sit on your lips, right? Any lip mask by anybody. The Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Really nice. Man, Tatcha, they do it right. Another one of the Kiehl's Instant Renewal Masks. The Sephora Lingzi. I'm never sure how, if that's how you say it. Lingzi or Lingzi Mask. Glad they got away from this double packaging. Wasteful. The Coconut Face Mask by Sephora. Laneige Water Pocket Sheet Mask number four. Another one of those Erno Lazlo eye masks that I love. Love, 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 love. So expensive, but love. These are the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Concentrated Recovery Eye Mask. They're the ones where the little pads are kind of separated in the in the packet from the juice, and you squeeze it, and it bursts through and saturates the pads. They really, really moisturize and make your under eyes look great. This is a really nice one too. Of course, it's expensive. It's the Clarins Super Restorative Instant Lift Serum Mask. These are one of the ones kind of like the SK2 that you don't put on at night when you're going to bed. When you're getting ready to go somewhere special, right before you do your makeup, you put this on and it really gives your skin a nice... Is it going? Yep. The Vital Hydra Solution Mask by Dr. Jart. The Egg Cream Mask by Too Cool For School. I love the Too Cool For School masks. And that's one of those uh, Estee Lauder masks. Oh, one more. One more mascara. And this is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I had never tried this before. This is a really nice mascara. If you like that like clumpy, clumpy look, it's not going to give you that. But it's really black. And it made them look really full and really long. I, I enjoy But they're defined. They're not clumped together. I really enjoyed that. This is a new favorite of Denise. This is the Drops of Youth Youth Concentrate Serum by The Body Shop. As you know, Denise has very dry and fairly sensitive skin. And she really, really loved this. Um, I love this, although as I get older, it's a little drying. It would be great if you're in your 20s or 30s. It is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach and Vitamins um, Cleanser by uh, Youth to the People. Really nice. I used a bunch of these overnight masks by Sephora. I love these. But there's so much in them. Denise and I usually share one or else I just put it all over my upper body because there's that much in them. This one is the, the Green Tea one. The Avocado. The ginseng, the pomegranate, and that lingzi. If you know how to pronounce that, try to spell it phonetically for me in the comments. Loved it. Anything I can find that I love by Ordinary, I jump right on because Ordinary is so affordable. This is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. So I kind of use it where I would normally use my P60 lotion, except this was, I think, $5 as, as opposed to $85. So really loved it. You've seen this a million times. For me, the Bioderma, I love it. This one is the one specifically for dry skin, and I just love Bioderma. Now, we used to buy these all the time, right? These are the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. Denise wears them a lot. She loves them. This is $70 for, I think it's like 30 pairs. Yes. So yeah, 30 pairs of, I think. This is the, I want to say, Schweigog, S-H-V-Y-O-G, you tell me, Vital Eye. And it's, I think that's all it says on it, but it's the green kind of under eye gels, same as these. $70, $26. Same amount, 30 pairs, 30 pairs. So Denise loves them, so I'm rebuying these now off of Amazon. That's where I got them. Uh, this is a Clarisonic. This is not what it is, actually. Thank you. This is a box to my massage head. So I'll just pop that in there. But this is one of the sensitive heads for my Clarisonic, and I change those out about every three to four months. 
an oldie but a goodie. I love this by The Body Shop. It's the Aloe Vera Night Cream. I like the day cream and the night cream. If you're looking for affordable skincare, you know, splurge on your serum, right? What's, what's really important is your vitamin C in the morning, your retinol at night. When it comes to moisturizer, it's just about comfort. Um, so this is just a really nice, great moisturizer. Affordable. This, not so affordable, but Denise loves it. This is the Bye Bye. Oh, actually, I lied. I thought this was the Bye Bye Under Eye. This is the Bye Bye Makeup. This was a makeup removing balm for eyes and face. It's awesome. It Cosmetics is awesome, but it's so expensive. Blame it on me. Blame it on Denise. Another expensive one that I really enjoyed. This is a little sample of the Glam Glow Good in Bed Night Mask. I love the name of it. And um, the packaging is beautiful. And it was really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. The Origins Clear Improvements Face Mask. I don't put it on my cheeks. I just put it on my forehead, my nose, and my chin when I'm feeling congested. It clears everything right up. This is an eye cream Denise used up, which she liked. It is the Clinique All About Eyes Rich Eye Cream. Gets the Denise stamp of approval. This one gets the candy stamp of approval. Denise didn't like this. This is by Cora Organics, a brand I really like, and it is their eye oil. So it has a little, oh, it had, I dug it out because it had a little crystal roller ball and I didn't want to throw the crystal out, so I kept it. Um, but you just roll it on and it lasted me forever. And you'd think it's, oh, it's so oily. It, it actually, it, it absorbs in and you can put your makeup on a few minutes later and it's fine. Um, although, full disclosure, I did usually use it at night, not during the day, but I really enjoyed it. Another um, micellar water. This one is the Garnier Skin Active one, which people say is the same as the Bioderma and maybe it is, but in my head, I just really prefer the Biodermas, but I had this nice travel size. Um, so I used it up. You know, tied for favorite in terms of my eye makeup remover. This is the Lancome Bifacil. Was my favorite for years and years and years. It's now tied with the Chanel one. Uh, this one is, is less expensive than the Chanel one. But I have just tried one that I have to say. I'm using it now. It comes pretty close. And that's the new Glossier uh, eye makeup remover. The Biface one they have. It's really nice. It really works. Uh, Buffet by The Ordinary. This is a serum that I've used, that Denise uses. It's just a really nice all-around, does a whole bunch of things serum. And it's, I think, $6.99 or $7. Can't beat that. Uh, this is a face oil that Denise used. It's the 100% organic, cold-pressed rose hip seed oil. Just a nice face oil. Again, under $10. I love this moisturizer. I've only ever had it in these sample sizes, but even Tatcha's packaging, I love. It's just a really beautiful, like nicely colored, you know, it just has that satisfaction feel. And this is called the Water Cream. If your skin was super dry, I'm not sure this would work for you, but for combination skin like mine, great. I've been using that since the beginning of time. That is Purity, uh, the face cleanser by Philosophy. I used to buy it in the big one liter jugs but now i use lots of things on and off but this is a really nice makeup remover somebody got on me once saying it's called purity and it's not pure you know it's not organic it's not they didn't they didn't say they're organic they just called it purity um maybe i want to call myself purity it doesn't mean i'm pure and innocent do you know what i mean like they're not claiming anything they're just saying the thing's called purity this was a night cream that i used by algenist um Algenis products are lovely. They are crazy expensive, but they are really lovely. And that little pot lasted me, I think, almost two weeks. Get through some first aid beauty. Denise was using this for quite a while. It is their face cleanser by First Aid Beauty. They've got squalene, I think, in this. And she was having that trouble last winter on her chin. So she switched to this cleanser and it helped to clear her up. And this is the Ultra Repair Cream, which is super heavy duty cream for people with really dry skin. Another Tatcha product with that beautiful packaging. This is the Tatcha Indigo Soothing Rice Enzyme Powder. This reminds me of Japanese washing grains by The Body Shop about 25, 30 years ago. Uh, I have it in full size, not in the indigo, but it's just one of those really nice, what it is, powder. You mix it with water and it's a really light exfoliant. So if you have super sensitive or super dry skin, it's a nice way to exfoliate without it stripping. Origin Ginseng. I'm not surprised they expanded this because the eye cream is everybody's favorite for so long. This now is an energizing boosting gel moisturizer. Really nice, especially for combination or oily skin. 
This is the Comforting Cream from L'Occitane. Denise used it. Nice rich cream. And the final product I guess should have been with the makeup. It is a mini sample of something I own in full size. This is the Marc Jacob Dew Drops. It's just a beautiful makeup primer. It does not, it's not designed to um, make your pores look smaller or anything like that. It's designed to give you a beautiful glow beneath your foundation. And I love it for that purpose. And I love Marc Jacobs packaging. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this trash talk. That's all the skincare and makeup products that Denise and I have used over the last couple of months. We have one more in this round of empties that we will do. I still got a big bag of bath body and miscellaneous, and we'll do that in the next little while. I uh, hope you enjoyed the book review. I know everybody was asking me for those. Finally got those up, and you will see a vlog in the next couple of days as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. See you in the next one. It's